All right, this is just a little follow-up video on the last one. I know uh, some students were asking me here, when I have the wall and the draw event, saying, you know, okay, they get the idea how this works, but wouldn't it be easier just to change the sprite? Why constantly ask, well, if the damage is this, draw this. If the damage is this, draw this. If the damage is this, draw this. Why not just change the sprite of the object and it's just done when I get hit by an arrow? And you know what? That is probably the best way to do it. This here constantly requires in the draw event that these questions are being asked. Uh, the main purpose was just to show you what you could do in the draw event if you ever find you need to do it this way. So for example, instead of doing all this code here, you could have just left it draw sprite, sprite index, and you can actually just do this. I could take all this out. I can actually leave this as the variable sprite index. You have to remember, every object keeps track of its sprite with the variable sprite index. So sprite index is set to something. I mean, when a wall is made, it's set to sprite wall. So this is drawing out sprite wall. Then what you could do is you could say when I'm hit by an arrow and I go down here, okay, I've just been hit by an arrow, I could ask a couple questions. I could say if the damage is one, sprite index switches to sprite wall one. Else if the damage has gone up to two, sprite index equals sprite wall two. Else if, and you know, you could keep going. Okay, this is the better way because this code only runs once when the arrows hits the wall. And so it's much more efficient than in the draw event constantly asking. So you can still spread, set the, sorry, <laughs> you can still set the sprite index to some value. And then in the draw event, just put sprite index. And whatever the current sprite index is set to, that's the sprite it's going to draw. Okay, so that's another popular thing you can do in your code. Thanks for watching, and now try the challenges.